Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoze and in this video we will learn about find minimum diameter after merging two trees problem which is from lead code number 3203. This is based on Grady algorithm of tree and a prerequisite before solving this is to know about BFS. If you don't know about BFS, you can watch my video by clicking on the i button. Uh, we will discuss about a follow up problem at the end of the video so stay tuned till the end. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, uh, we are given two undirected trees with n and m number of nodes and you have a 0 to n minus 1 numbered nodes in the first tree and 0 to m minus 1 numbered nodes in the second tree. You are given 2D integer arrays which is basically the edge list of the first and the second tree and you have n minus 1 edges for the first tree m minus 1 edges in the second tree. Okay so the edge representation is given between node ai and bi you have an edge so it will be given as ai comma bi and the, all these edges are di undirected edges okay and the same goes for edge, edge list 2 as well now given this two tree representation we have to join these two trees and make a single tree after joining them in such a way that the diameter is minimized okay and uh, we know that the diameter is the longest path between the uh, two nodes in a tree so let's say that we are given tree 1 what is the diameter uh, like you you can uh, take 301 to be the diameter on tree 2 you can take 01 to be the diameter now you have to join them in such a way that the diameter that the resulting trees diameter is minimized so if i join it through 0 then it will be minimized because you will take this edge and you will take this edge and you will take this edge so the total uh, diameter will be equals to 3 but what happens if I join uh, through this node 1? So if you join through this node 1, then you will see that this is contributing edge uh, length 1. This is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So it will be equals to 4. But my goal is to always minimize it. Therefore, I will always try to include the midpoint of the existing diameter of the given tree. So I think you got some idea into this problem. Uh, let's look at some more examples for better understanding. Uh, we in, in this case we are given two undirected trees and our goal is to join them in such a way that the diameter is minimized. Now on the left side you see uh, that the diameter will be uh, from A to B and the diameter is 5 which is an odd number. Okay. Now whenever you have an odd number uh, the midpoint uh, will be equals to uh, in this case it will be 2 or 3. So we will always go for the larger number because uh, I mean greedily your longer length will be picked. You will see how it is done. Now if you look at the other tree, you have diameter equals to 4. You may have more than one diameter. It is completely fine. Like if, if this was C then you will have the diameter from A to C or B to C or A to B. Any such uh, diameters are possible but I am just concerned about the length. So the length is 4. Okay. Now if I have to join them. I will join from the midpoint of both the diameters okay if I don't join them through midpoint then I will get a longer length but I want to minimize the length so this is the midpoint let's call it this P and on the other side this is the midpoint let's call it Q if you join them then the longest path is this one which is 3 this edge is 1 and this is 2 so the longest length will be equals to 6 okay so the answer in this case will be 6 fine after optimal joining but the next question is like how to find the optimal joining as you must have understood let's say that uh, this is the uh, diameter one that is from the given uh, first tree i have extracted the diameter and from the given second tree i have extracted the diameter which is diameter two now if i have to join them then i will always join them from the middle point of the first diameter to the middle point of the second diameter if I do do it in any other way, the length will be higher. You see, in this case, the length is this is 2 plus 1, 3 and plus 1, 4. So if I join them in the middle, then the total length is equals to 4. Okay, so that is the equivalent diameter is 4 after merging. But let's say if I join them through this, which is not the middle point of the first tree. In this case, the longest length on the left side is of uh, length 3. On the right side it is of length 1 and this is 1. So that is 5 but I want to minimize it and I already know that 4 exists. Right. So I will always use the middle point. Now if you want to just take a simple example let's consider two straight bars of height h1 and h2. And if you have to create a bridge in between them so that 
यू कैन ट्रैवर्स फ्रॉम वन साइड एंड रीच टू दी अदर साइड एंड ट्रैवर्स दी अदर साइड टू एंड यू हैव टू ऑलवेज टेक द लॉन्गर हाफ ऑफ बोथ द साइड्स देन इफ इट इज एग्जैक्टली इन द मिडिल दैट मीन्स इफ दिस वन इज एच वन बाई टू एंड दिस साइड इज ऑल्सो एच वन बाई टू देन देन ओनली इट विल बी ऑप्टिमल राइट बिकॉज इफ यू मूव द ब्रिज अ लिटिल बिट डाउन देन दिस विल बी ग्रेटर देन एच वन बाई टू एंड सो दिस वन विल ऑल्सो बी ग्रेटर देन एच टू बाई टू दिस इज नॉट द ऑप्टिमल पॉइंट the optimal point will always lie in the middle okay if you just think it little bit carefully you will get to know about it so the total length traversed will be h1 by 2 plus the bridge length plus h2 by 2 in this case the bridge is done using just a single edge so i will replace this by 1 fine so it is always optimal to join at the midpoint of the diameter this is the first observation and very important now what are the cases which comes with this let's say that uh, both the diameters are of even even length this is case 1 so if they are of even even length then you, it is very easy to pick the middle point and uh, because there will be only one middle point right so you can take like the diameter is 4 here diameter is 4 you can easily calculate the radius here 4 by 2 here the radius will be 4 by 2 you are adding it through an edge 1 so the total length will be equals to 5 in the odd even case like on the left side you see there are odd number of edges right so in this case uh, you cannot take a middle point the, there will be exactly two middle point this one and this one right so let's take this middle point on the right side you will just have a single middle point so in an odd case we will always consider the longer length okay so this is 2 this is 1 and on the other side we have two length so the total length will be equals to 5 therefore if the number of edges are odd you have to add 1 to it and then divide by 2 fine and even if you have even length like in this case on the right side you had 4 right so if you add 1 to it and divide by 2 it will always be 2 but if it was an odd number 3 on the left side then if you add 1 to it and divide by 2 you will get 2 right so you can just ignore if it is odd case or even case whatever is the diameter you can just add 1 to it and divide by 2 to get the radius okay so the radius is important and similarly uh, goes the third case which is odd odd so on the left side you have a uh, three diameter so you can do 3 plus 1 by 2 and you get the radius 2 on the right side again you will get radius 2 so you join it in any way and you will get the total length to be 2 plus 2 plus 1 which is 5 so this length will be equals to 5 now i hope all the cases are clear let's now look at how to find the diameter of the undirected tree now we can follow a greedy algorithm to find the diameter of undirected tree the first thing you should do is choose any node in the tree let's uh, assume it to be node a now you have to find the farthest node from a and let's uh, take it to be node b you can find the farthest node using bfs or level order traversal that is what i prefer generally and the third step is to find the farthest node from b and count the number of hops that is the number of levels using bfs and that will always be the diameter okay so this is the three step process you might find this to be a little bit sketchy and uh, you might not be feeling very comfortable so let's look at the proof of it now there are two cases whether uh, the chosen node that is initial chosen node a uh, can be on the diameter or may not be on the diameter right so let's take case 1 where your chosen node is already on the diameter so we will choose a node a right and that is already in the diameter i have marked the diameter with pink color now the next step is to find the farthest node from a and that will be equals to c you see uh, that the farthest node from a is 1 2 3 4 hops that is c so we will find c here okay now this is one of the end points of the diameter now if you find the farthest node from one end of the diameter you will always find the other end of the diameter which is b in this case right so this is how you know like what is the diameter hop that is you can do level order traversal and keep on uh, counting the number of hops this is case 1 now in case 2 whatever a random node that i had chosen may not be on the diameter right so that node is a in this case so you have to find the farthest node from a and if you find the farthest node from a you will find b or you can find c as well right so let's say that you found b right so that is the farthest node and this will always be the end point of the diameter again and now again if you uh, try to do bfs level order traversal from b and again finding the farthest node from b you will always find the other end of the diameter because 
what is the definition of diameter the diameter is the longest length between the two nodes in the given tree right so the longest length from b if you know that b is one end of the diameter then c will be the other end of the diameter right and the number of levels here will be equals to the diameter so this is the second case so definitely uh, your chosen node will be either on the a diameter or or it will not be in the diameter there cannot be any other case now let's look at a general case and try to prove by contradiction now this is the general case tree which i have built i have named the node here as a here as b and the third one as c so uh, i mean a denotes a subtree b denotes another subtree c denotes another subtree so let our initial chosen node be p so this is our initial chosen node right i have assumed everything in such a way that height of a is greater than equals to height of b height of a is also greater than equals to the height of c now my statement is when you have chosen any node let's say p then the farthest node from p will always be an end point of the diameter okay in this case it will be either r or s now i will try to prove this statement using contradiction and i will say that the farthest node from p will not be an end point of the diameter and let's assume this node to be q the farthest node from p will not be the end point of diameter and let's assume it to be q now since height of a okay height of a is greater than equals to height of c don't you think that when you try to find the farthest node from p it will not go into the subtree of q but it will always be better to take the left turn rather than taking the right turn isn't it because you know that the height of a is larger than height of c so if i want to increase my length of the path then i will always prefer going to the left side in a greedy approach using a greedy approach and not go on the right side okay so this is like very simple therefore choosing the deepest node in the subtree a will always be better than choosing either b or c so if i am coming from b then i will always want to go to the a side rather than going to the c side because i know the height of a is higher right okay so the distance of p to r will always be greater than the distance from p to q okay and therefore our statement will always be correct right therefore uh, the contradiction which we took will never happen because we can optimally make this decision on which side to go using a greedy approach we don't have to know the future items right i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in so i hope now you got the idea of why this algorithm works now let's look at a dry run in this case i have taken tree 1 on the left side tree 2 on the right side let the initial chosen node on the first tree on the left side is 1 okay now from there what is the farthest node farthest node uh, can be taken as 7 okay so this is one end of the diameter now we have to find the farthest node from 7 and let it be 2 i mean 3 is also one node 4 is also one node but let it be 2 so this is now the diameter okay and what is the length of diameter number of hops that is equals to 4 therefore the diameter is 4 on the right hand side let's say that the initial chosen node is 0 okay the farthest node from 0 is 2 fine now this is one end of the diameter now the farthest node from 2 it is 5 4 3 everything so let's take 3 as the farthest node and so this is the diameter and the diameter length is equals to 3 fine now let's join them and where will you join them you will join them at the midpoint so the mi midpoint is zero on the left side and zero on the right side too so you join them what will be the new diameter of the joint points so it will be 4 by 2 on one side which is the radius 2 this radius will be uh, equals to 3 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 2 and then you are taking plus 1 for adding a new edge so this is 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 which is equals to 5 
सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मिनिमाइज द डायमीटर आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग दम ज्वाइनिंग मे नॉट ऑलवेज कंटेन द डायमीटर राइट लेट्स टेक एन अदर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ए दिस इज वन ट्री ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड अनदर ट्री ऑन द राइट साइड नाउ यू नो दैट दिस इज द डायमीटर ओके नाउ वी कैन अज्यूम दिस टू बी पी दिस टू बी क्यू राइट एंड दिस इज द डायमीटर ऑन द अदर साइड सो द डायमीटर ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड इज सिक्स ऑन द राइट साइड इट इज टू फाइन नाउ इफ यू हैपन टू ज्वाइन दैम ऑप्टिमली देन दिस इज लीडिंग टू वन एक्स्ट्रा एज बट इफ आई कंसिडर दिस एज एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट लेंथ देन इट विल बी फ्रॉम पी टू लेट से ए and that length will be equals to 6 by 2 which is 3 and 2 by 2 which is 1 plus 1 for the extra added edge and that will be equals to 5 but the already existing diameter on one side was 6 which was larger right so you have to consider three cases like the joined edge like the new joining edge may not be in the diameter even after joining okay and if it is not in the diameter then either the diameter will be on the left side or it can be on the right side fine so you have to consider the maximum of three cases the first case is the diameter is on the first tree second case is the diameter will be on the second tree and the third case is this adding edge will be in the diameter okay so so this will constitute the diameter so we will be taking the maximum of the three cases the diameter one that is the first tree's diameter is the overall diameter after joining similarly it goes for the second tree and uh, this is the third case which we were calculating after joining if the new edge is a part of the diameter fine so these are the two possible cases and uh, the time complexity will be order of n plus m which is linear okay and the space complexity is also the same uh, for the q using the bfs now the follow up problems can be you can be asked to prove the grady algorithm and we had already proven it using contradiction and the second uh, question can be you might be asked to find all possible diameters of a given tree this can also be a case right so i hope this problem was extremely clear for you let's now look at the code implementation so this is the code according to how we have seen the theory part we are given edges 1 and edges 2 fine so now uh, what i will do is i will find the diameter of the first tree and find the diameter of the second tree so i am building the unordered uh, graph here like a graph in the form of a tree so i am using unordered map for it and then i am calling the diameter function okay i will show you the diameter function but once you have found the diameter find the radius of both the uh, trees one by one and then find this like this is case uh, of joining right after joining if you include the joining edge into the diameter then what will be the length of diameter so this will be compared with the both the existing diameter and we will take the maximum of all the three options now let's look at how to uh, find the diameter here right so in order to find the diameter what i had explained you is uh, you need to choose a random node and since the nodes were given from 0 to n minus 1 for the first graph and 0 to m minus 1 for the second graph i'm just taking uh, i mean n as the past argument for both of them right so i will choose always 0 to be the starting point and so i will just use a visited array and perform a simple bfs level order traversal and after performing the level order traversal i am saving the last node and that will be the farthest node from 0 okay so the last node now at this point will be one end of the diameter fine so if i know that the last node is one end of the diameter then you just have to perform bfs from the last node and find the farthest node from this last node right so after performing bfs i am also counting the number of levels we are hopping okay so so the count will always give one extra value so i am subtracting one extra value from here to compensate for it and then returning the number of levels okay so this will give me the diameter and once you know the diameter then everything else you can easily solve so i think this code is very simple enough and i hope you were able to understand the entire explanation If you have any doubt then please feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you